Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. There's many people today that uh, continue to stumble into sin. And, you know, they wonder why they can't stop stumbling. You know, they, they want to overcome anger. You know, they want to uh, maybe obey their husbands and submit to their husbands. But yet they continue to stumble time and time again, you know. They want to lose weight. They want to do all of these things that, that uh, would please God. But they continue to stumble and they wonder why. That's what I want to talk about today is how you can stop stumbling. How you can overcome wickedness and evil. And, you know, what the Lord has been speaking to me about and teaching me about is the fear of the Lord. It's the fear of the Lord that causes us to turn away from evil. And what the fear of the Lord does is when evil is presented to you, where it's presented to your mind first, because that's how sin works. First, it starts as a thought and then action. So what the fear of the Lord does is when the thought comes, you're able to take that thought captive and bring it to obedience to God. So when when the, you feel anger rising up in you, it's the fear of the Lord that, that lets you know this displeases God and it causes you to turn away from it. Or when you, you are tempted to look at a woman with lust. The fear of the Lord comes and says, this displeases God, and it causes you to turn away from it. So if you lack the fear of the Lord, it's a very dangerous thing. And, and, and that's why so many people go down to destruction is because they don't fear God. And, and today, in today's churches and, and, and different teachers, they teach you that you don't have to fear God. Or that to fear God just means to reverence him. But that's not what the scripture teaches. The scripture teaches us that God should be our fear and that he should be our dread. You know, it's it's okay to obey God and to move with, with the fear of the Lord. Because you know that what he promises to the wicked, he will fulfill it. When he says that the wicked will be tormented and, and will, you know, be gnashing their teeth and that, you know, no rest will come to the wicked and all of these things that he promises, you know, all of the plays that he says will come upon them and the things that they fear most will come upon them. God is faithful to his promises to the wicked and to the righteous. So. Knowing who he is, is the fear of the Lord. Once you understand who he is, it will cause you to fear him. And that's how you will get the fear of the Lord is by going to God and asking him to reveal himself to you. And asking him to give you his fear. Because the fear of the Lord is life to those that love God. Because it causes them to walk upright before him. It causes them to be careful in their actions and in their words because just like the lord said by your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned so the fear of the lord is essential the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and it is wisdom that god loves so without the fear of the lord you will perish so you know i want to share this quick message so that you would have something to add to your prayer ask the lord to give you the fear of him to teach you how to fear him and to perfect it so that when wickedness is presented to you and, and there are moments of temptation temptations to uh you know forsake raising your children in the way where you want to uh, show the world's type of love rather than discipline. You know, where you want to, uh, you know, disobey your husbands and, and all of these things that please God. You know, when that temptation comes and presents itself to you, then the fear of the Lord will keep you safe.
and will keep you from evil and turn you away to turn you towards righteousness. So we want to fear God truly and to work out our salvation with fear and trembling before him. You know, until we finish this race, until the race is over and we are with Jesus Christ and, and, you know, we are eternally with him. Peter warned us that as we spend our lives here, we should spend it in fear. And that's what he's talking about. Spend it in the fear of the Lord, being careful to obey him, um, making sure that you are the wise virgin who were ready for the bridegroom, who were watching, who, who kept their oil full. You don't want to be that wicked servant who, you know, said, you know, that the, my Lord is delaying his coming and they began to get drunk with the servants and, and do all of these different things. And then the word says that they were caught off guard by their master. So you don't, you don't want that to be you. You want to be one who learns to perfect the fear of the Lord and keep yourself from evil. And learn to do what is upright before the Lord. Be blessed.